so I've gotten a lot of compliments on my sunflowers so I decided to do a little video it's my first video with voice so be nice so basically I just outlined a jar I just um, kind of outlined the back of the jar because the stems will go over the front and then you'd put on the front of the jar then So I just took some um, some green, mixed it with brown to get a darker green. Got some yellow, burnt umber, black, a little cream, and I mixed some orange in with a tan. So what I'm going to do is double dip a flat brush, and I'm just going to pull some stems into the jar. A lot of people use their angle brush. I like the flat brush. And what I do is I take some white and some cream on each corner. And you just want to do a real thin line. It's kind of like baby's breath. Now for the fun part. Let's take a, I don't know, it's called a scruffy brush, I guess. You can see that. I just dip it half in black and half in brown. Keeping the brown up. So I pick where I want one. I'm going to do one right here. I just kind of dab. Keeping the brown at the top. And I re-dip, keeping the brown at the top still. And I'm just gonna kind of make a C shape or a U shape underneath it. And while the paint's wet, I just lay that brush down. I go back to my flat brush. And I just go into the yellow, a quarter yellow, and then I go into the orange tan I mixed up. Make sure there's no water on your brush. What I do is I pull out from where the wet part is I've already done. I just lay it flat and I spin out. And that kind of pulls some of the black in. You can get back over the ones you want a little darker. And 
if you're happy with that. Usually what I like to do is I like to go in and just do one more loop around. Keeping the brown up. And that's a wrap.